From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. For April 22nd, 2022, this is your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. With incredible great news as big fourth stimulus checks are landing by direct deposit across the United States tonight. And breaking developing news as the stock market crashes nearly 1,000 points today. Why did it crash? What's going on with your money? Over the next one hour, special report for April 22nd. We'll go over the state of the U.S. economy and the state of those major stimulus checks landing. And that's from the federal government, because guess what? Tonight, new checks are also coming out from your states. Two states are among the first to announce state stimulus checks are coming as well. Of all the incredible great news over this next one hour special broadcast. It's America's most watched show for financial news in prime time, and it starts right now. Over the next one hour, we'll go over for some checks which are landing in people's accounts by direct deposit. Then we'll be going over why the Wall Street analysts saw that major crash tonight, 1,000 points after your Federal Reserve, Jay Powell, gave you indication of what he's doing with those interest rate spikes in the month of May. Is this a surprise or is it not? And then on Sunday, we're going to see whether there's a surprise in France as a major election that impacts your wallet gets decided. Meantime, the president suddenly has gone from no executive orders to lots of them. Six executive orders to student loan debt forgiveness, big money. Two executive orders for big checks. That's why membership is so important. Four stimulus checks are going out by executive order by Joe Biden. And we're not done there yet. The White House signaling that the gross national product of the U.S. economy may shrink faster than Wall Street's expecting. That is a recessionary concern. And in this regarding, we're going to go over the latest details of that tonight. Then, could more great news be coming with more checks, more stimulus checks, more student loan forgiveness, and more SS300 possibilities? The answer is yes tonight. Well, that huge breaking news that has been happening all throughout the day and why the breaking developing details tonight is that Wall Street was troubled with a 1,000 price point drop and is far from over with the trouble thereafter. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of checks. And the incredible news starts right now on a special one-hour edition of Evening's Highlight. And good evening, everybody. For April 2nd, 2022, lots of major breaking news tonight from the shores of Santa Monica, California. We got a one-hour special report on Evenings LA tonight as new fourth stimulus checks are landing by direct deposit. That's to start. Then, state stimulus checks will also be landing by direct deposit. Next up, SS300 is heating up. That is the raising up of your benefits like veterans and seniors. What's going on on that front? All the latest details across the board. We got a lot going on tonight with more student loan debt being forgiven and now a complete, you heard me right, complete student loan debt forgiveness on the table is the quote by the White House. We'll go over all the incredible details across the board, but we end tonight or we go into tonight with a major Wall Street crash. Wall Street fell 1,000 points today, and it's all because of where this economy is. The news at point is first, build back better. The president's refocusing the U.S. economy and refocusing to get the Build Back Better Act passed by Congress. Now, let's make very clear, over this one-hour broadcast, we'll go over four stimulus checks that are landing by direct deposit. They were sent out by executive order by Joe Biden, and then we'll be going over the Build Back Better Act four stimulus checks and, of course, those state stimulus checks. Tonight, we're going to start with the Build Back Better Act. We have a lot of major breaking news across the board. It starts with in-house at the White House. Insiders have a series of comments, some on the record, some off the record, about what the White House is doing with Build Back Better. First, they're saying that they will be calling for a vote 
in the next 30 days. Why? Because the U.S. economy is stalling up. Then we have insiders of the White House saying that they have new indication of where the U.S. economy is going by the end of the year. And here is the shocker. Their indication where the U.S. economy is actually worse than what Wall Street is expecting. It's actually a little bit better than I'm predicting. Let's look at the situation breaking tonight across the board. Remember, if the economy is not doing as well, then it helps you get stimulus. Because the way the stimulus works is when the U.S. economy is stalling up, they give you more money. When it's doing really well, they give you less money. The situation tonight is a White House insider, off the record, in a new interview says that the gross national product of the U.S. economy will be 3.7% by the end of the year. Why is that important, that number? Recession is a negative number. So if the U.S. economy's GDP drops to negative 1% by the end of the year, that is recession. If it drops to zero, it means we're about to go into recession. 3.7 is right at the edge, folks. And where is that GDP tonight? It's at 6.9% right tonight. That was a miss when they announced it just a few days ago because they were predicting 7.1%. But that White House insider says that the GDP will drop from 6.9% right now to 37 by the end of the year. This is a shocker. Why? Because Wall Street is expecting GDP to drop only to 4% by the end of the year. The White House insider believes that it's actually going to be worse. I'm projecting it's going to be actually worse than both of those projections. I'm showing it less than 1% and maybe negative by the end of the year. It's certainly going to be a negative number for 2023 and 2024 because my projection is two years of recession starting in 2023. And I'm not alone in projection. Deutsche Bank in recent days, the major German bank says the U.S. economy will definitely be in recession in two years. And then Morgan, uh, J.P. Morgan just yesterday said that there's a 35% chance of two years of recession starting next year. So that insider of the White House is projecting 3.7% GDP growth by the end of the year. But what did that insider say? Not really good on point. The insider says it's a good number because Germany's projected GDP will be 2.1%. South Korea will be 2.5%. And United Kingdom will be 37 does that make sense? Absolutely not. It doesn't make any sense. Because the U.S. economy is much bigger than South Korea, so we should have a higher GDP number than South Korea to say we're 3.7, we're better, better than South Korea at 2.5. It doesn't make sense. Who made this silly statement? Brian, was that you? <clears throat> was it Brian DC? We will see. But the comment was off the record. Why was the comment off the record? Because the comment shows that the U.S. economy under Joe Biden is shrinking dramatically and Something in the White House is not working. Let's go over what the other comments from the White House and what came out this week as well. Goldman's chief economist, Jan Hazius, said there's a 35% chance that we're going into recession for two years. And then the White House also said in a major statement by an insider on Wednesday this week that the White House is putting back Build Back Better Act on front burner. Why? Because there's an importance among the electorate to get money to them, not to Ukraine. The White House understands that a series of new polls show that Americans are growing tired about hearing money going to Ukraine and not enough money to them. And what do the White House do after that notion? <laughs> they gave another $1.5 billion to Ukraine. Uh, time to stop that, I think. Time to stop that. And trying to get Build Back Better Act out. But there's good news tonight. What is that good news? The calendar. Colleen, are you coming on in? <laughs> The calendar. Look at that calendar. The calendar at issue is that the midterm elections is November 2022. But people don't just vote on election day now. They vote two months ahead of time with the mail-in ballots. Very big among Democrats. So they're mo voting in September. They would need to get a check in their hand by at least August. And if they're getting a check in August, it has to be sent out by July. If it's sent out by July, they have to have a vote by June. <laughs> if they have a vote by June, they're finished by May. Wow, suddenly we're right back at the present. We are. That is why as the White House understands they need to get Build Back Better Act done in May. Because if they want that check in your hand before you vote, they got to get it done. Who reported that before to you in 2021 and 2020? I did. When I said that Donald Trump had an opportunity to get you a stimulus check before his election for president, and he didn't and got the check out after the election results were done. Not how you do it. So good news on that front across the board. 
Also, big news about Build Back Better Act tonight, which is that the economic data in the United States economy is stalling. Data after data, point after point, is a stall up. And that is good news for Build Back Better Act because the way it works is when the economic data is not so strong, more legislators want to give you stimulus. So let's go over the data tonight. First, non-farm payrolls is a major miss just days ago, 60,000 less than expected. Then, housing markets, four months of downed housing sales continue to drop across the board. Then, we also have consumer spending starting to lag. We have the auto industry stalling up, major downturn on that as well. Also, we have other economic data like the mortgage industry, the 20-year mortgage surging from 3% to 5 plus percent in just 60 days. And we're not even to the part of the equation for the CPI, the Consumer Price Index. But what did we learn in the last few days? We learned in the last few days that when we look at the issues for housing, it's a very difficult market, and we're not doing particularly well. What was the housing data we got this week? The housing sales showed that houses fell dramatically in new home purchases, not only along high-end homes, middle-income homes, but also low-income homes. Homes across the board, whether they were less than $100,000 in price point or a $1 million in price point, were down 25% year-to-date to 35% year-to-date. This is not good, and this is why it all helps Build Back Better Act. The senators understand this, especially the Democrats who are getting it done. They understand that the economic data is stalling up, and that is why they want to do it. Now, they also may want to do it in view of what happened just minutes ago. Minutes before this recording, the stock market closed today. The Dow Jones fell 1,000 points today, approximately more than 990 points. Why was it dramatically down? Because of what j Powell said the day before. The day before? Yeah, now let's explain the situation. j Powell, he's trying to battle inflation. He said exactly what I said he was going to say. So why was Wall Street so shocked? I think Wall Street is so shocked because the horizon of where j Powell's going may not be working. Let me go over the situation tonight. j Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, announced in a press briefing yesterday at the INF Fund that he's definitely doing a half basis point at the FOMC meeting in May, in, in, in April. Well, excuse me, in May. Well, that was no surprise of viewership of the channel because I said two half basis point increases are on the horizon. There was some growing sentiment going into that luncheon by Jay Powell on Thursday that he might say not a half basis point, but three quarters of a point? Ouch. Where did that come from? It came from the notion that Jay Powell is coming in more aggressively. I think the reason why Wall Street crashed 1,000 points today is because Jay Powell says we need to do front end loading. This is a major change from the White House, a major change from the Federal Reserve in less than 30 days. We have two ways to approach inflation. Hard on the front end, soft on the back end, or soft on the front end, hard on the back end. If it's hard on the front end, it's hard landing, front end loading. It's the same terminology. It means coming in really hard and then softening up. Jay Powell understands that inflation is much worse today than he even thought across the board. Why? Because the inflationary numbers released in the last 30 days shows that whatever Jay Powell is doing is not working. And guess what? Whatever he does in May is not going to work as well. Oh, boy. Let's go over what's going on. Jay Powell has gone to inflation very wrong for a very long time. It started last year when I projected that inflation would be 8% in the month of December and not temporary, staying there across the board. I said it's so important for your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Rail Benefits, because if Joe Biden makes that swap, your benefits go up about $300 or more, more per month. Jay Powell at the time said inflation in December will be 2 to 3% and temporary. He was wrong. 8% it was in December, then 8% in January, then 8% in February. So where was it in March? Higher than 8%. That's good news for you folks when we talk about raising up your benefits. It dates back to the campaign trail, but it's brought up to the president. Joe Biden at his current platform of JoeBiden.com represents that he's going to swap your COLA for inflation as your new benchmark. What is a benchmark? Every year, your benefits are reassessed based upon the benchmark. And the benchmark last year was COLA. It's been that way for many years. It doesn't work. And COLA was 5%. 
So your benefits check went up 5% in January. Not just that month, not just this year, but a lifetime. Because when it's once your benefits go up, they never go down. But you got cheated because it should have been inflation. Inflation was 8%. Your benefits would have gone up 8%, not 5%. 8% is $200 more per month. So where is that inflation tonight? It's likely hotter than 8%. That's why Joe Biden needs to make that swap for cola to inflation right tonight. Because inflation may actually be 8.25% right tonight. How do we know this? Let's first go over the calculation. If Joe Biden makes that swap for cola to inflation right tonight, you would lock in 8% at least. So that would be another $200 more per month. Not just this month, not just this year, a lifetime. And then if inflation comes in at 4% later this year, then you lock in another $100. That's SS. 300, that is huge, great news. All that Joe Biden needs to do is make the phone call to that social security administrator head, say swap that COLA to inflation. Joe has done something like this before. He did in late 2021 when he picked up the phone and called the Department of Agriculture saying pay more money for SNAP, for people, for food, and they did it. All he has to do for this situation is contact the social security administrator head and say swap COLA for inflation. That would lock in your great $200 more per month. If inflation comes in at 4% later this year, that's another $100 then as well. Not $300 just that month, lifetime. So what is Jay Powell saying today and how does that impact your benefits across the board? Let's go over the analysis across the land. Jay Powell is trying to reduce those inflation rates by raising interest rates. The concept is very simple. Raise interest rates to reduce inflation. But does it work? And what is Jay Powell's choices across the land? His choices are quarter or half. Some people even thought he may do three quarters. Then, late yesterday for Mar April 21st, Jay Powell at a luncheon said that he will be doing a half basis point increase for interest rates at the FOMC meeting of May. So we finally had guidance very clear across the board. It helps us. He did not tell us what he's going to do after that, but with that number, then we know we're doing half basis point. Was a surprise for Wall Street today? It wasn't, because the quote was yesterday. Why did Wall Street tank a thousand percent to thousand dollars today? The Dow Jones. Because the comments that came with Jay Powell's remarks yesterday were a little bit aggressive. He said, we're going to front end load and we may stay at point. In fact, some of the Fed governors were quickly asked today, are you doing three quarters? We were just talking about a quarter. Now we're heading to three quarters. They said, no, we're doing a half. What's here for you to know tonight? My opinion, and this is only an opinion of why Wall Street crashed, is they think what I think, Jay Powell will raise interest rates and then won't get down inflation. And you won't get the benefit of what he's doing. Let's go over the analysis tonight. Jay Powell is going to raise interest rates, half basis point. We already know for that for May. What is he going to do for June? Do the same thing. And what's going to happen? Your lending is going to go up. Whether you have car loans, student loan debts, or credit card payments on debt, they go up more per month. It costs more to live. Is inflation going to go down? Nope, not in my opinion. Why? Because tonight, there is not one, not two, but three causes of inflation, and none of the tools that Jay Powell has works to bring down inflation. All three issues are supply chain disruption. Number one, supply chain disruption caused by COVID. When COVID was done and we came out of lockdown, we didn't have truck drivers. That caused supply chain disruption, and it, cost the price, it caused the price of goods to go up. The second supply chain disruption was Vladimir Putin. When Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine, then cost of goods went up. We didn't have wheat from Ukraine, the bread belt of the, that region, and price of goods went up. Tonight, a third supply chain disruption, and it's China. China is on major lockdown tonight as COVID subvariant is spreading in major cities like Shanghai, a city that has a population the magnitude of Florida or Texas. Now, the products we make in China can't back, get back to us. And the products we buy from China can't get to us. That is supply chain disruption number three. And guess what? This guy, Jay Powell, knows he has zero tools to bring down price inflation caused by supply chain disruption. So why even bother? 
Jay Powell is doing what I call talk the talk, but can't walk the walk. He knows that he can't bring down inflation if it's supply chain disruption caused. It is caused. Three types of supply chain disruption. And when he talks the talk, what is he trying to do? Bring down inflation. Let's be frank. He talked about this yesterday. He talked about this last week. He talked about the week before. Has he brought down inflation in talking the talk? No siree. In the last month, all that Jay Powell talks about is something more aggressive than what he talked about the week before. And guess what happens? Every time he talks about it, the inflation gets worse. It goes up. This is not a benefit for the U.S. consumer because suddenly you're spending more with the interest rates higher and the inflation's still there. But what it does for you if you're on benefits is actually quite good. Why? Because the benefits are still having the opportunity to get that $200 more per month. If inflation is still 8%, then all that Joe Biden has to do is swap that call for inflation and locks in that $200 more per month. And if inflation is, as I projected, 4% by December, not 1.9% as Jay Powell projects, then you get another $100 more per month. It's all good for you. Not particularly good for the U.S. economy, but good for you if you're on benefits. All that Joe Biden has to do is swap that color for inflation across the board. That is what Jay Powell said this week. He said it's appropriate, in my view, to be a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more quicker. He said that the International Monetary Fund panel moderated yesterday. I also think there's something to be said for front-end loading. Any accommodation one thinks is appropriate, I would say 50 basis points would be on the table for the main meeting. Then the quotes that came in just minutes before I went on air were from Fed governors under Jay Powell. They said we're not doing a three quarters of a basis point, 75 basis point. We're not doing that. A half is going to work. The fact that anyone on a Wall Street is asking for 75 basis point signals that something really not working across the board. What's not working across the board is the U.S. economy. Major fallouts and major struggling across the land today. And that struggling continues to grow. And what's at issue is that consumer price index number. When you look at the CPI number, it signals where inflation is right tonight. It also signals what's going on with this economy. We can look at the year-to-date number, March versus March of 2021, but I'm not going to do that. I'll look at the March 2022 number versus last, the month before that, the prior month, February 2022. What happened? U.S. consumer goods went up. In the one month from February to March 2022, energy, like oil, went up 11% in four weeks. Ouch. Then what about fruit and citrus? It went up 3-plus percent in one month. Then we look at the rest of consumer goods, 3% is 1% as well, or 2%. Then we look at the whole U.S. economy in general. The Consumer Price Index, what did it show from February to March? It went up. It means that inflation is going higher after Jay Powell did a quarter basis point. It means what he's doing is not working. It also means if Joe Biden makes that swap of coded inflation tonight, you're in good position. And it also means that there's more reason to pass Build Back Better Act, because the situation is not better tonight as economic elements continue to stall up. With so many elements stalling up, who's also recognizing that as well? It's very different tonight than it was when this channel launched on April 25th, 2020, as this channel approaches its two-year two year anniversary in three days. Back two years ago, it was quite different. We had Republicans saying the economy is great. It wasn't. And we had Democrats saying it wasn't great. Tonight, we have Republicans and Democrats both saying the economy is not great. And for the first time ever, we have not just the federal government saying we need to give you stimulus. We also now have tonight, get ready with the drum roll, states them saying we got to give you stimulus. Wow. Later in this great video, we're going to go over brand new fourth stimulus checks that are landing by direct deposit tonight. Boy, folks, it is exciting. It's times like this you don't want to miss becoming a member because these checks are first come, first serve in many cases. And that membership link is at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP member that can get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. But the breaking news tonight is that you don't have to even wait for anything else because some states tonight say, you know what, you're in need right now. We're going to send you state stimulus checks. The breaking news tonight is that we're at two states and we will be at more states sending out state stimulus checks.
and the breaking news is so incredibly great. Where is this coming from and how did it get here? Let's take a step back, back down over memory lane because as we walk down memory lane, we understand where this item of doing things, use or lose, came from. In 2020, C. Mnuchin, then Treasury Secretary, was battling Nancy Pelosi for negotiation of the then second stimulus package. Nancy Pelosi's narrative during the negotiations were the states are about to go bankrupt. They need more money, like California. We weren't going bankrupt. We were having a surplus. But that was her pitch. C. Mnuchin says you're wrong. He was right. She was, she was very much wrong. And that I'm going to watch where the states have extra surpluses from first stimulus. I'm adding something called use or lose. States must return to me, Department of Treasury, money from first stimulus by December of 2020 that year, or they'll lose it. And guess what happened? They quickly started using it by sending you a stimulus check from first stimulus in 2020. It's as though Janet Yellen and Joe Biden saw what Steve Mnuchin did, because guess what? They did the same thing a year later. In 2021, the U.S. economy got the American Rescue Plan. The American Rescue Plan was your third stimulus package, passed in early 2021. What did it also have in there? Drum roll. Yes, use or lose. The inclusion of that provision basically said states are given massive sums of money, and the states do not use the money by December 2021, excuse me, December 2022, from third stimulus, they will lose the money. With just months away, we are now back repeating history once again. Yes, states have now been told they got to use the money from third stimulus by the end of this year, 2022, or they will lose it. And the breaking news tonight is that states have a lot of money and they have no intention of losing the money. Let's go over the details of what you need to know happening tonight. First, when third stimulus is passed, it's important to remember that the federal government gave the same amount of money to every state. The allocation of money was based upon the population of the state. So if one state had 10 residents and one state had 5 residents, it gave twice the amount of money to the 10 resident state. The allocation of money was not dependent upon whether the governor was Republican or Democrat or whether the state is rich or poor. It was based upon populations. What happened thereafter? What happened after there was the following. And the details are fascinating. The federal government gave fortunes to your states under third stimulus, and you don't know that because it's actually not your bank account. It's their bank account. Suddenly, the states were reminded in recent days that, hey, it's just a few months away, use or lose December 2022. The situation is very clear tonight. The states have lots of money, and they don't intend to lose it. They intend to use it. And to use it, they intend to give money to its citizens by the deadline of December 2022. To use the money, here comes calendar Colleen with another calendar count, because this gets very interesting. To send you checks from your state as the state governor, by December 2022, those checks need to come to you by November. If they're coming to you by November, they need to be sent out by October. And that means the governor needs to sign it into law by about September. If he's going to sign it into law by September, then he needs to have the bill passed by both legislators, both branches of the state assembly, by about August. That means that the first branch needs to do it by July. The second branch needs to do it by June. They need to have the bill ready by May. And they need to make the announcement basically uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Look how quickly that came. I'm being a little facetious there. But it's literally right in front of us. So that's why states are moving so quickly right now. They have no intention of you losing the money. They have every intention of using the money. And tonight, two states have announced they're giving you stimulus checks. Whoopee. Congratulations. But here's what you need to know. I fully expect a lot more states to do the same. Let's take a step back for just a second. Last night in the live chat, one viewer said, but Tennessee is not doing this. My response to that viewer was, not yet, give it a few days. But guess, guess what? By May, you're going to see an avalanche, potentially, of state after state after state saying, you know what, we're not going to lose the money either. We're going to start using it. And the first states to make the announcements are huge. Maine has made the announcement it's doing a potential stimulus check, $500. 
That's based upon the amount of money it has sitting around. Then, the case of Pennsylvania saying we have a lot of money sitting around. We're doing $2,000. The comment came in from its governor basically saying we're not going to lose the money. Pennsylvanians should not have to choose between paying for utilities and groceries or childcare or gas. We have the opportunity and the means to ensure they're not struggling. What is the opportunity? A war chest of third stimulus money to use or lose. He goes on in his quote, I'm asking the General Assembly in my state to unite across the political aisle for the sake of every Pennsylvanian who Commonwealth succeeds. Let's get this money out of the coffers and into the pocket of Pennsylvanians. He's basically saying, we got the money, get it out of the Pennsylvania State Legislature bank account and get it into your, um, you know, into your surfboard <laughs> or something else. That's what he is saying. And what am I saying tonight? What I'm saying tonight is get ready. Because I don't care if you're Kentucky. I don't care if you're Michigan. I don't care if you're East Coast or West Coast. There's going to be a lot of states that have a lot of money and they're all going to announce they're using it very quickly. And that is the benefit, again, to being a member. The membership newsletter revamped itself last night for April 21st. And for the first time ever, now includes state stimulus checks. It's important for you to know every state stimulus check. And I will go over those state stimulus checks in tonight's newsletter as well. The newsletter details every state that proposes state stimulus checks and every state that will be paying state stimulus checks because you have to pounce as a purple hawk. You can't miss any of these incredible checks. And that is the benefit of the newsletter for members of this channel. Have you become a member? I hope you have. If you haven't, become a member during the commercial break. The membership links at the top of the channel pin comment. Become a purple hawk, purple power, or Calcino VIP. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Via the YouTube alert system and the LA Late Alert system, the membership newsletter comes that time. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over the brand new, exciting, fourth stimulus direct deposit checks that are landing. They are huge. And I'll go over that direct deposited check, how you get it from Joe Biden. It is huge. It's coming up in the big second half. But out of nowhere, we had a big shocker. And the big shocker is in less than 30 days, Joe Biden has done executive action after executive action. It started with two stimulus checks, and tonight it's continuing with student loan debt forgiveness. The breaking news continues to come in from that White House seemingly every hour about seven stimulus. That's student loan debt forgiveness. The latest details tonight, folks, are massive and great news. The press secretary to Joe Biden, Jen Psaki, says that full student loan debt forgiveness is still on the table. Still on the table? I didn't even know it was in the, in the, in the department. <laughs> I didn't even know it was in the building, let alone in the city. On the table? Whoa, Jen. That is a major shock here of an announcement. The White House has done a lot on student loan debt forgiveness in the last seven days. And it's the latest changing face of so many details. Let's go over all these incredible executive orders that have come in this week. First, the President of the United States months ago said that if you became disabled after graduation, I'm forgiving your student loan debt. Then he said if you became a worker in the nonprofit or public sector after graduation, I'm forgiving your student loan debt. But it heated up this week when first the President said, you know what? I'm not going to have you repay any student loan debts before May, originally the guidance deadline. I'm rolling it over to September. Then came the next executive order. If your student loan debt is in default, I'm going to put it in good standing. Oh, that's huge. And then came the biggest of the biggest. You know, over the last year, I've talked about a lot of narratives from Liz Warren, but the one she talked about a lot was student loan debt. And the one narrative she spoke about was students whose debt was procured by fraud by the university against the student. That's what she made in YouTube videos as her plea to the President of the United States. Well, tonight, those debts have been forgiven as well. Yes, the President in another executive order has forgiven student loan debts where the university procured it by fraud against you. We're not done there yet either. Miguel Cardona had his undersecretary announce that the Department of Education is modifying language of existing statutes to allow more student loan debt to be forgiven. 
If that sounds familiar, it should. John King has featured on this channel for the last month is the education secretary under Obama Biden. He said that Joe Biden has a lot of ways to forgive student loan debts. He knows he does. We passed it under Barack. Now tonight, the education secretary under, under Joe Biden is doing exactly that. Forgiving more student loan debts by modifying the language at which the debts were issued. Now, I'm not a debt expert, but apparently I'm doing well. <laughs> Chef John Mayer got $9,000 of student loan debt forgiven this week because of watching this channel. Let's look at the details of what you need to write down right tonight if you're a student loan borrower. The words are the following. First, the undersecretary to, Joe, to uh, Miguel Cardona, whose name is um, whose name is Kranos, if I can pronounce it right, said that we're modifying this, some of the statutes across the board. Caval, James Caval, he says... We are taking the statute that um, covers the IDR credit, write that down, IDR credit, and we're modifying the language so there may be more potential for us to improve the rules and the process going forward. Wow. Then write down these words, public service loan forgiveness program. We're modifying the, the language so that there's immediate debt cancellation for at least 40,000 borrowers of that public service forgiveness program and several thousand other borrowers across the Income-based program. Write down that wording as well. Income-based program. How do you learn more about it? Go to the Department of Education's website. It's a .gov website. Then look under the press releases by Miguel Cardona. He'll go over every time he forgave some student loan debt this week. That's a lot of moving parts in just days. And I'll potentially also feature the quote from Jen Psaki. This came in late April 21st, which is... Complete student loan debt forgiveness is still on the table for the White House, no decision at issue, and the White House will likely make the decision by August 31st. Yes, notice all these things happen at the same time. Lots of people trying to do lots of things for you at the same time. Now, one people that are not trying to do something for you are <laughs> OPEC+. Plus. We learned this week that we're trying to solve the price of gasoline at the pump. We're trying to solve the wheat and grain disruption, supply chain disruption caused by Vladimir Putin. Guess what? OPEC Plus, we knew, did not help us in the month of March. Tonight, we learned that maybe it did even less than that. What's at issue? Back in month, the month of March, we lost 3 million barrels of gasoline per day because of Vladimir Putin's situation in Ukraine. We embargoed that. 3 million missed. What happened thereafter? Well, the U.S. economy tried to supplement the missing gasoline. And we initially thought that OPEC Plus was just not ramping up production, but keeping it the same. Remember there was that press conference where the press tried to ask OPEC Plus some questions about the march? They did not answer them. So we were down 3 million barrels a day because of Russian oil gone. So what did the White House do? Release some of the strategic reserves. 1 million barrels a day over six months. Good. Down 2 million barrels, 3 million missing, 1 million put back in. Then the Western Allies putting in a half million barrels. Now we're down 1.5 million when we lost three but added in 1.5. Until this news. There's new indication that OPEC Plus did not produce what we thought they did. That they produced 1.5 million barrels less than their target for the month of March. Ouch. So now we're down 4.5 million and we only replaced 1.5 million. Yeah, it means we're down 3 million barrels still today per day. Troubling across the board. It's the latest situation of what six stimulus is so important about. Six stimulus will go to the head this Sunday. Why? Because in Sunday's election results, we will learn if France re-elects Emmanuel Macron. He is the French president. He's a progressive. He's a Joe Biden alliance and also a German chancellor ally. But if Macron loses... You could kiss France's ability to do a six stimulus package. His opponent is a conservative, and that component is saying, stop spending money, Macron. If elected, I will stop spending money. Macron's promise is if he is elected, he will spend money. What are German banks saying? Germany must spend money as well. Now, tonight, the situation is very fluid across the board. I got to tell you, this one's getting very complicated. The White House reached out to Germany to do a major six stimulus package by getting off, of German, getting off of Russian products day one of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Germany said, no, we're not getting off of Russian oil. We're too dependent upon it. Then Anthony Blinken, your Secretary of State, pushed back and to get off of the Russian products for moral reasons. Germany said, yes. France said, yes. We had a trifecta of the six stimulus package. 
Then Germany said no. Tonight, Germany is saying, once again, we're not getting off of those Russian products because we have nothing to back up the German products. Deutsche Bank saying Germany will send itself in a recession if it doesn't debt spend and give stimulus to the citizens. What about France? If France does not elect Emmanuel Macron, it could go in a recession because if it doesn't just deficit spend, then it's not going to have money for its citizens for gasoline and bread. The situation is very fluid across the board and we'll be watching across this land, especially on Sunday. But the great news, the huge news, is that Joe Biden has sent out stimulus checks. Brand new stimulus checks, which are landing by direct deposit. And how do you get them? They're coming up after the commercial break. They're huge. They're new. They're direct deposited. They're law done by executive action by Joe Biden. And I'm so excited to go over the details of those checks with you after the commercial break. Then we'll be turning over to what we learned as a community over the last three, over the last years. And what we'll learn as we go into a new year. As this channel approaches its new anniversary in just three days, I got a big commentary. It's coming up after those big checks. But first, if you haven't become a member, become a member before we go into the commercial break. The link is at the top of the chat and the pinned comment. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. And with that, I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as we go into the second half of a big night, a one-hour special broadcast of Evenings L8. You need to stay informed, you need to stay focused, and you need to stay motivated. That's why you need to become a member. And I'll see you back in 60 seconds. But first, here's a little bit about the member community page. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on a big evening for April 22nd, 2022. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, a lot of major breaking news. news and the big one, of course, is those... For stimulus checks, landing by direct deposit. I'll go over how to get those incredible checks in the second half of the recording. Then we'll go over the commentary of how to get checks and how to be prepared for more checks when they go out. Because guess what? There will be a lot more checks coming. And when will they be coming? I'll go over that as well in the big second half. It's a big night and we're just getting started. And first, we're going to go over the incredible great news of those direct deposited checks starting right now. The huge news is that Joe Biden understood that it's important to get checks out the door. And while Bill Bat Better Act can still get you those checks before Election Day, he wanted to get you checks right now. So Joe Biden, what did he do? He took provisions out of the Bill Bat Better Act and made those checks executive action law. Remember, there's two ways to have laws. Either Congress votes on it or the president does it by executive action. And tonight, folks, the great news. As Joe Biden has taken more new checks out of the Build Back Better Act and made them a law and has sent them out to you by direct deposit. 
The incredible tracks, how do you get them? We're going to go over them right now. What's important to know is that as a member, these tracks sometimes are first come, first serve, so you don't want to miss them when they land, and I don't want you to miss them when they're paying out or direct depositing. So let's go over the details of these big checks. The first check is a $6,500 force general check that made law in just days ago. Wow, this is exciting. In some states, they're paying up to $12,000 for this force general check. It's lending by direct deposit. It is huge. The eligibility, let's go over the details right now. Same as a third stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you will get it by direct deposit. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you can get it by direct deposit. And if you're on benefits like Social Security or Veterans Benefits, you will get it by direct deposit. It's for homeowners. It's called the Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check. So how do you get this check and how easy is it? The check is absolutely incredible and so darn simple. First, you want to become a member. The link's at the top of the chat and pin comment. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system, or 10 o'clock Eastern, or 9 o'clock Central. Open the newsletter, and in the newsletter, the first few lines are about the oil and wheat prices today. Then right after that <laughs> is check A. It'll have the homeowner's weatherizing grant check, and I'll have a link. You go right into the link for the nationwide website. Then you choose your state, like Mississippi, and then you choose the homeowner's weatherizing grant check of Mississippi. You apply, you pounce, and you get that check by direct deposit. Congratulations to all the incredible viewers who have gotten it so far. Let's go to that check B. Even more money direct deposited. Fifteen to $80,000 checks are being direct deposited to viewers of the channel. Money are getting most on average $66,000 to $80,000 in their hands. It's a four simple check taken out of Joe, taken out of the Build Back Better Act by Joe Biden. And the income qualification is just like check A. Remember, check A and check B are not income. They're not taxable. They do not disqualify you from benefits. They are not loans. There's no credit check. They are grants. This check is single individual, $75,000 or less, married couple, $150,000 or less. And yes, if you're on benefits, SSI viewers have gotten these checks as well. One got it. He got $66,000. How do you get check B? The same way you got check A almost, you want to become a member. <laughs> become a member, then get that newsletter. In that newsletter, go under check B. First, you're going to see check A, and then you'll see check B. You click the link to apply. First, check B will tell you more about that check. It'll go over more about the eligibility, the other things it pays for, things like home repairs, great stuff like that. And then you go in and click the link and apply. It'll send you to a website with a map of the United States like this, and then you choose your state like Georgia. Click the link and you go into the state's website to apply. You apply and you pounce and it'll say approved. Then the routing times thereafter, depending on the month in which you apply. Initially, it was a one-week routing time from approval to funding. Some of you are saying it's slowing down from applying to approval rate, but the funding is still on point. We'll be watching that over the next few days. And if you have some guidance and success stories and tell me how much the routing time has been, send me a private message I'll feature on live on air. The third check is even bigger than that. And that third check is astronomical. It is $24,000, but in many cases, viewers are getting upwards of $150,000 or more. It is an MSC check. And let's go over the incredible details of this big check tonight. It starts with bringing us back to 2020 December. In December 2020, we were looking at Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi negotiating no deal. We need money. And I searched high and low to find you money. And I found it. I found it in rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. In December 2020, there was not a lot of money around. I got viewers money, total $250,000 for this channel at the time. Not a lot, because it was not a lot of money. Like Tyrone, his family afford out of Boston, $15,000 at a time. But the big epiphany the great golden egg that was delivered in late December was a document. I had nearly an exclusive document from the White House of what it was proposing for a new piece of legislation the next year, a new bill. I called the bill and the document third stimulus. I coined the expression and I said, if this third stimulus becomes law, get ready. Because everything I've been training you to get right now in December 2020 
for rent and utilities and mortgage assistance will become law. And the difference is there'll be a lot more money of it. Well, guess what happened? It became a law. It became a law. And I said, get ready, folks. Everything you know so well to do is easier because there'll be a lot more money. Go get it. I said to viewers on average, you get about 15000 And I was wrong. They didn't get 15000 They got $45,000 when it became law. Huge. They got three or four months in early 2021. Then last summer, they got another round, three or four months. Last Christmas, we, I said, go get another round. We called it Santa Stimulus. They got it. Then in January, I said, go get another round, three or four months. And the viewer said, no. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? No. They said, no, I want to do 12 months. I don't want to do these small rounds anymore. I said, 12 months of checks? That's like an MSC check. Do you think you can get it? I already have gotten it. So viewers, wow. So many viewers started getting $2,000 a month for 12 months because they took the learning, they took the education of this channel, and they pounced and they got more money than I ever thought they can get. Let's look at the success stories that viewers have gotten since early days of this channel, in tw tw early days of third stimulus on this channel in early 2021 all the way to the present. The numbers are astronomical. Look at the numbers the members have gotten. For rent, 20000 to 27000 Look at these member, many uh, member numbers they're getting. Then utilities, Mark's brother-in-law getting $15,000. Let's look at Snap. Wow. Mark's brother-in-law getting $25,000 a year over 10 years, a quarter million dollars for this channel. Combo items, 32000 Look at all these people getting these massive sums of money. Here is Mark, he was at 32000 as a member, then he went to 50000 then he went to over 100000 now he's at over 166000 Lorraine, she was at 105 and now she's at 120 That's the benefit of membership, because guess what? The membership all features this incredible newsletter, and that is why viewers are now getting these massive checks, because they've been teach, taught how to get those checks so well by this channel. So where do you get these checks? You're going to reach out to a series of places. You're ready. I'm ready to tell you the details. Let's do it right now. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county house authority, your state hall, and your state housing authority. That's if you're not a member. If you're a member, you're also going to reach out to the nonprofits. You're going to reach out to 15 plus places. Yes, you're going to make 15 phone calls. The key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, utility and mortgage assistance because of COVID. Three things you must do. You must do multiple applications. You must apply everywhere. And also, you must do multiple rounds. In this case, 12 months is what viewers are doing. Rely on that membership newsletter. This is where Carol last night said L8 makes it so simple. Why would you not become a member? Carol got massive sums of money, she revealed last night. And she said L8 makes it so simple, the membership newsletter. The membership newsletter features the nonprofits. And those nonprofits give you more places to reach out to. 15 plus phone calls, you can make 15 different pots of money. Get these big sums of money tonight because you deserve these big sums of money. Do not wait. Pounce, Purple Hawk. Get it tonight because the average view of this channel is getting about $45,000. You deserve it. Do not wait. Get these big checks. This is the big check of check C. How do you get these big sums of money? You do it tonight and you pounce. That is check C, $2,000 a month over 12 months that viewers are averaging on. And what do you do? You heard me right. You become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. The membership link is at the top of the chat and pinned comment. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then get that incredible newsletter. There's so much money in that newsletter. In that newsletter, you have the direct deposit for stimulus checks. You have these MSC checks. You now have the state stimulus checks. And then you have the proposed stimulus check, state stimulus checks. Wow. If you become a member, the link's at the top of the chat, pinned comment. Then wait for that newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. But to make sure you have your alerts set, go to the front of the channel, subscribe. Then there's a bell. Hit that bell to all notifications. And tonight, we look forward and we look back on what we've done as a community. On day one of this channel, on April 25th, 2020, I did not know how far I could take the learning education of this channel's viewers. I learned very quickly. The viewers of this channel are very smart, very educated, and they learn very quickly when I deliver the information in a concise, simple way to digest. Then, as the information got more complex, the viewers got more sophisticated. Along the way, I told viewers, don't worry about the pressure that comes from knowing more information compared to someone that doesn't. 
at the time I explain the situation, what's going to happen with this channel is you're going to learn stuff. And you're going to learn a lot of stuff. You're going to have better financial freedom. You're going to have a lot of financial information. And your neighbor won't. You won't be able to have the conversation with your neighbor about what you heard on this channel. They won't understand it because they won't know this. They haven't taken the effort. You won't be able to go to the supermarket and say, what do you think about that direct deposit for a simple check? They won't know what you're talking about. They won't know about the SS300. They won't know about the student loan debt forgiveness. They won't know about the price of oil and why Macron's election on Sunday is impacting that. They won't know it. And I said, don't worry about that across the board. What have we learned as a community? That the more information I can give you, the better you can do. And for viewers who are newer to this channel, we've delivered a lot of information. Do you know what a PPP is? Do you know what an LWA is? Do you know what a PUA or an EIDL grant or an EIDL loan is? Do you know what an interest rate? Do you know what stagflation is? Do you know what a hard land or soft landing is? Do you know what a temple of doom is? <laughs> we've had a lot of information on this channel. And when you digest that information, you get better. And the more you digest, the better you get. That's why it's important going forward that you're always up to date, caught up. Don't miss a video. Don't miss a day. I recommend now for viewers best to really be not only a member, but have that membership newsletter in front of you. When the video airs, when you're watching the video, have the newsletter in front of you and follow along. It makes it so easier because you're listening to it, you're watching on camera, and then also you have a printed version in front of you. So if the graphic is airing about the places to reach out to, city, county, state, and it's going too fast, don't worry. It's in front of you on paper. You already know it. When it's explained to you what's on paper, it makes it so much easier. What doesn't make it so much easier is reaching out to people to have them explain to you something that I'm recording, not that they're recording. When I make the recordings, I make them in a way that's very well suited to almost all viewers' educational levels. But if you ask in the live chat someone the same question, they're not going to be conscientious of you or yourself. So don't ask questions in the live chat of what's covered in the video. For example, if I see in the video that the Macron election is this Sunday, don't in the video say, what day is the election? Because guess what? The viewer in the live chat may not know what country you're referring to. Are you turning to U.S. or Macron? France? They may answer you in a confusing way. We already had the election in France. Well, they did, but now it's a runoff. They'll confuse you, and then they may actually have the wrong answer. There is no election. It's in November. I was referring to France. So don't ask the question, because ultimately, the best answer is me and you. I dedicate every single video to you and your needs and your interests and your focus. And that is what I'm here for. It's me. So why are you asking someone else? <laughs> are you asking someone else for the date? Are you going out to someone else to prom than me? I mean, how rude. <laughs> Why would you ask someone at the supermarket, bagger, that's doing paper or plastic, what day does the 16 month package going to be reverted based upon the inflation rate or interest rates? Excuse me, sir. I'm just asking if you want paper or plastic. <laughs> they won't know the answer. So it's important to know that don't really focus on people in the live chat to answer your questions. They may have the wrong answer. They may have a confusing answer. They may have an incomplete answer. But generally, they will distract you or you'll distract yourself because you'll spend time looking for them to answer something that's already covered in the video. If the video by chance for, leaves out something you want to have covered, then send me a private message on social media and say, LA, you left out the subject matter. Can you feature tomorrow's video? And I will. If I left out a subject matter, I'm here to help you for you. Throughout the night, we have a lot of videos coming up. We have evenings, LA, every night at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We have evenings... Countdown at 6 o'clock. We have evenings extra at 8 o'clock. We have stream and stimulus at 7. We have sunset at 9 o'clock. And throughout the night, there's so much to know and so much to happen. We have a big month ahead of us as more states will announce state stimulus checks. That's why you want to be a member and stay a member. We have more stimulus checks likely to come from Joe Biden because he's now done two in one month. And he's also done six executive orders for student loan debt forgiveness in seven days. You see how things are ramping up very quickly? Very, very quickly. A lot of moving parts across the board. In a night in which the Dow crumbled, crumbled a thousand points in one day and didn't start that way, you can't miss a single recording. You can't miss this channel. You can't miss this recording. And you can't miss the interaction of the fun of this channel over the last two years. As this channel approaches its second year anniversary for April 25th, 2022, 
We have a lot to love and a lot to be thankful for as a community. That's why you want to become a member. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Get that membership linked up right tonight and get that newsletter tonight. And with that, I'll see you throughout the evening. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.